In this video, I'll be talking about the steps I took to make the cinematic space animation you see on Blender. There's lots to learn. We'll be covering how to find all the assets we need, use AI to create space backgrounds, as well as setting up basic particle systems for the butterflies and space dust. This video right here condenses all the tips and tricks that you need to know in a short and fun format, but also, link down below, you'll find an extended tutorial where I explain and create everything from start to finish. So keep watching, maybe subscribe, and let's get on with it. Alright, so as always, I have this awesome idea for a 3D animation. I'm imagining a cinematic shot of this astronaut in deep space surrounded by glowing butterflies. And so let me explain where I got this idea from. I came across this online artwork that literally captures what I was envisioning, and so I added it to my reference. Then there's that one scene from Doctor Strange where everything's trippy and he's in space suddenly finding this butterfly at his fingertips. And finally, that one shot from Avatar The Way of Water where a girl can move these glowing underwater creatures around. So as you can see, those ideas sort of inspired my final animation. So let's find out the tricks you need to know, what steps I took, and get right into Blender. The first thing we'll be setting up is the astronaut. As always, I headed to a website called Sketchfab where you can find thousands of shared models. I typed astronaut and luckily found a great free model of one that was fully textured and detailed and rigged, but first I had to clear its animations. We can do this by going into pose mode, selecting all the bones, and clearing the transforms and keyframes. Now we have a full astronaut in a T-pose ready to animate. In that case, I'll go back into pose mode and start posing our astronaut in a floating position until it has a hand reaching out. Then I'll go through the timeline and animate subtle movements of the arms and legs to give it some life. Now let's set up our lights and background real quick. Make the world lighting black for now and add a strong spotlight angled above our astronaut. Then try and make lighting look a bit fancier by adding some side spotlights that could be different colors like blue or purple. Now let's move on to the background. There's a couple things you can do. You can set up a procedural star background using shader nodes and noise. You can get into volumetrics and create entire nebular fields with galaxies. You can search up real life space images online. Or in my case, use AI stable diffusion to quickly generate a unique space background using creative prompts. Feed that into an AI upscaler, use that as the world image texture and bam! you now have an entirely special background that looks super good for close-up shots. Let's move on to the butterflies. Head back to Sketchfab and find a butterfly model. This one right here would totally work for the scene. Bring that in Blender and let's change its color. Let's go into the shading editor and change its blue color to a nice warm orange using a hue and saturation node. After that, you can even get creative by mixing it with emission shaders to get a nice glow effect. All right, let's animate these butterflies. Make sure the origin is centered and create a base shape key with the wings down. Then create a new shape key with the wings up and now we have a value slider making our butterfly fly. Go through the timeline and quickly keyframe the value up and down until you end up with a smooth flying animation. Let's duplicate the butterfly a couple of times and add keyframe variations and move them to a collection. And now you have different butterfly samples ready to be used. Now for the particle systems. Add a cube, go to viewport display and change display to wires. This cube will spawn a particle system for the butterflies. So go ahead and add a particle system. We reduce frame in to 1, increase the lifetime, and reduce the number to 100. Change source to volume, turn off normal velocity and head over to field weights to turn off gravity. Render as collection and choose our butterfly collection. Enable rotations and play around with the axes, randomize, and phase values to differentiate the rotations and directions of the butterflies. But let's get them flowing and moving. You can do that by adding a turbulence field and increase its settings like the strength, size, and flow until you have a smooth group of flowing butterflies. You can even add aspects like wind for stronger effects. You can of course also manually animate butterflies, like how I keyframed one landing on the astronaut's hands. The final trick is to create some space dust for extra detail. You can do that by adding an icosphere with a translucent shader. Then, like before, set up a cube with a particle system, play around with the settings, and render objects as that icosphere. Once you're happy, you can make those instances real to freeze them and put them in a collection. Let's add some nice volumetrics. Add a cube and in the shader editor, bring in a principled volume with a blue color and low density. Now all there's left to do is to set up some close-up camera animations, add cinematic depth of field, and finally move on to post-processing where we can add personal color correction and effects. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more. And also go check out the extended tutorial of this that you can find right here. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you soon.